Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Marie Bookish here, and today I'm going to be reviewing a book called 172 Hours on the Moon. Um, basically, a summary of this book is three teenagers win a worldwide lottery to go to the moon. It was set up by NASA, and it was because NASA needed funding, and so they made it a worldwide fad to get the funding. Um, and they go to the moon, and panic ensues, and that's all I can say if you're going to read it, and you don't want spoilers. It is a sci-fi horror genre, so if you don't like horror, don't read it, it's probably gonna freak you out. Um, it is just like a little bit horror-y, like, so much so that it almost doesn't fall into horror, it falls into like, barely horror, I don't know. But, it's mostly suspense, and then two pages of like, gore. Um, yeah. So if you're dipping your toe in horror, it might be good. If you don't like that kind of thing, don't read it. Um, it is... I couldn't actually find a Lex House score for this book, just because there are conflicting articles online. Um, it said that the Lex House score was not available for this book yet. Um, it did say that it was a 7 to 12th age reading interest grade. Sorry about that. But, um... Yeah. It's not that complicated of, like... A level for a book it's just a little bit freaky so maybe you shouldn't have like a third grade reading it you know what I mean um, yeah if you are actually planning on reading this book and you care about spoilers don't watch the rest of this video basically what I think of this book is it character development sucks because the characters are slightly developed in the 200 page introduction of all the characters and then they die and they're no longer developed and so that really annoys me because how are you supposed to see the change in character that's one of the most satisfying things about me for, for me in a book is to see the change in like how the events of the book have changed the character that doesn't even happen because they all die so what's the point i don't know if it's just a horror thing but Maybe it's just me. I'm not sure. Comment in the comment section below. Um, yeah, another thing that really annoys me is the ending is so confusing. There's, like, one ending that plays out to the end. And then one of the main characters turns into somebody else in the last chapter. And then at the very end, there's an alternate ending that makes no sense and is not actually from the main character's perspective. And... This is my cat. Um, in, like, the author bio at the end, the author Q&A, um, he said that he would be letting out a sequel, but this book says that it was let out in 2012. That was almost, that was more than 10 years ago, so I don't know what happened to this guy, <laughs> but he obviously didn't want to do this. Um, yeah, confusing ending. If you watched this far. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you found this helpful. Um, comments, questions, and concerns in the comment section below. Please subscribe. Please like if you liked it. Dislike if you don't like it. Um, hit the bell notification so you know every time I post a review. And also, oh, and in the comment section, please tell me what books you want me to review because I don't know what you want me to review and what would be helpful for you. Um, so yeah, I'll read it. I'll review it. Tell you if you like it. Tell you if you should read it. Um, yeah. Thank you. Goodbye.